Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, everybody on YouTube? Welcome back again to Nadu Boy channel. Uh, you guys can see, man, I am not happy today. I am not happy. I'm not smiling. You know, this is video. I'm making this video to tell you what is going on in the world, man. And, and this is a very sad day and a sad news that I'm going to be putting out there, man. And I saw a news yesterday, 80 Nigerians caught in scamming. Eight, zero. Eight zero cut in, in in scamming and it's very 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 sad that you know that is happening you know and I, and I saw the amount that got moved billions of dollars over a couple of months but the country is suffering suffering big time suffering big 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 time you know that shows you that scamming doesn't take you anywhere in life it don't take you any man, and, 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 and it's pissing me off. These actions of this young man and what these people did is closing opportunities for people like us, for people that are working hard to make money, for people that are working hard to build a company, for people that are trying to build a legit company and doing a honest business with people. You know, that is crazy, man. You do not try to... Like that is just too ridiculous, bro. And 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 it's crazy that most of these people are based in United States. You came to a country that have a lot of opportunities. Opportunities, see, opportunities. Hear what I said? A lot of country that have an opportunity. When I came to this country, I was very, very young. I went to high school here. After I finished high school, I went, I started working, I started going to college. I saved $25,000 at the age of 21 years old or 20 years old. I saved that much money working a regular 9 to 5 job. I've never scammed anybody, man. I didn't scam anybody out of their money, making, save their money. I, when I was very comfortable, I was very happy, man. You have to stop. Man, it's pissing me up because this is a very, very, very sad situation for Nigerians, man. It don't matter if you're a Nigerian that is born in America. If you have a Nigerian name, that is, is, is a sad... Is, is, if you're a part of this pro We are part of this problem, man. Because I am a Nigerian. That is a very sad... You know, seeing people destroying their nations. We have a lot of young, talented people in Africa that's trying to make it. We have a lot of young, talented people in Nigeria that's trying to make it in a legitimate way. You know, we have these people that's coming here stealing billions of dollars. And now it's so bad, other countries is going to come and change their name to Nigerian and they blame everything to Nigerian. Everybody's going to believe it because they believe Nigerian is the number one scamming country in the world. You know, that is a very, 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 very sad thing to hear, man. 80 Nigerians caught in scamming. You know, let me tell you a story, man. I sold a vending machine last week to a white man. And what that white man did made me so happy that he trusted me with his money, $2,500. You know, I sold him a location. He looked at the location. He said, okay, he's going to call me and let me know what he thinks about the location. So I went, I was driving home to my house. He called my phone. He said, yeah, he wants the location. He text, no, he texts me. He said, he wants the location. Uh, can I Vimo you or can I send you to Cash App? An old white man. I said, okay, you can Vimo me. He Vimo me the money. He trusted me with his money. I could have run away. I could have gone anywhere. He trusted me with his money. He Vimo me the money. Tell me that he want me to drop the key at his house. I have to take the keys to his house. That is an honest business. I didn't care about the uh, uh, $2,500 that he gave me. Why would I run away with that? I'm not going to be doing business for long doing that nonsense money doesn't come doing nonsense like that man now look at these people's life is going to end up in prison for a very long time long time i do not support any criminal arts i'm a very very i, I hate 
that type of stuff man because i know how it feels to work hard and somebody just comes and scam you millions of dollars thousands of dollars man you know i understand how it feels that is not good bro that is not good i understand the country is bad the country is suffering but you cannot come and be suffering other people because of your situation don't you know that is just not the right thing to do you cannot come from your country to suffer other people because you had a hard life it doesn't work like that man I cannot come and kill somebody because I want to make a million why would I want to take somebody's life because I want to make a million because I want to feed my family what happened to that person's life don't you have a mind don't you have a brain you don't even about a brain you have a, a spirit you have a soul don't you know that when you do things like that man you are bringing a bad name to your nations, to your generation, to everything. You cussing, you you bringing a curse to your own life, and your children, and everything about you. It's sad. It's sad. And all these people think this is cool, man. It's, it, they think it's cool. It, they, they think it's very cool, man. Look, man. I believe in hard work. I work very, very hard, and I know how that feels. To, to somebody to just take your money because that just happened to me not too long ago and I made a video about it and I'm not gonna sit here and be proud of any Nigerians that's doing that nonsense man I'm not that is just stupid of us stupid of us accepting that stupid behavior our politicians is doing the same thing what are they teaching the younger children what are they teaching the younger generations man nonsense ideology man Look at what we're teaching our younger generation in Africa, man. We're teaching them nonsense ideology. How are we going to move forward as a country? How are we going to move forward as a nation? It starts by changing ourselves. Not waiting on the government and because the government is doing it. That's not why we're supposed to be doing it. Not because everybody is killing somebody, that means you're supposed to kill somebody. It's not the right thing to do. You have to understand, you have to start choosing the right thing to do. God gave you a, a, a choice. He gives you a free will to make the right choice and the wrong choice. And when you make the wrong choice, trust me, nature is going to come after you. People is going to come after you. That is life. You're making us look bad, man. You're making us Nigerians look bad. Because there are people out here that are serious business owners, they are serious business people that are very, very dedicated in what they're doing. And you're going to come and be doing this nonsense. Mil billions, bro. Billions of dollars. Country is starving to death. Bro, you know how many people are starving in Africa, bro? But you stole billions. Billions. No, you're not building any road. You're not building nothing. You're not doing nothing. So what's the point? You're gonna die and the money dies with you, man. Don't you know that? Money stays. You know, we have to start being reckless and, and having stupid mentality, man. You can be anything you wanna be in this life, that's for sure. But choose wisely what you wanna be. Because it costs you everything you wanna be. Choose wisely. This life you know, most people say it's a matrix. However you put it, whatever you believe in, that's what your life is. Because that's what you live by. If you believe life is a matrix, though you can be anything you want to be in this life. Choose wisely, man. Because this is, is becoming unacceptable, man. It's very unacceptable. 80 Nigerians. 80 freaking Nigerians, man sad you know I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to stay too long on this video because this is, is just very very sad you making people look bad it's very sad I'm gonna say it and say it it is a sad sad thing I work hard I, I, I go to my vending business I do my car business, I run my car rental, I do all of this stuff, man. Now you're gonna have people looking at other Nigerians that they are criminals, man. Bro, I've never stole 
anybody's money a day in my life. I mean, you know, uh, except for my parents when I was young. You know, that's different. I, I don't do that stuff anymore. That was when I was young. That was my parents. You know, like probably 10 cents, one dollar, that was it. But I'm just saying, I don't go out there try thinking, thinking I want to steal from somebody. I don't want to steal from anybody. I want to earn my own money by working hard. You live a good life when you work hard. You live a good life when you work hard. Abraham lived a good life. Most people in the Bible, a lot of people, almost a lot of people in the Bible lived a good life by working hard. And God bless people that work hard. Stop destroying our names, man. You know, this is going to be the end of the video, man. If you're a Nigerian and you're doing that type of stuff, man, I, I, I don't know. I don't want to know why you're doing it. Just stop. Stop. You know, make your country a better country, man. Nobody's going to change your country, man. Very soon, our country is going to be a shithole. Like Trump said, Trump is not lying. Trump is not lying. Why people are getting mad at Trump? He's not lying. He said the truth. He called Nigerians shithole. Look at what we're doing. Is that a good thing? Man, I, I love my country, but we have to change. We have to change, man. We're selling each other. We're killing each other to sell in other countries. We're selling each other body parts. Bro, we are doing these things to ourselves. We're killing each other for rituals, man. We're doing all of this stuff to ourselves. No, God bless you, man. I'm done with this video, bro, because I'm getting so mad. I'm done with this video. I don't want to say too much. I'm done. God bless you.